Hello Libras and welcome to your October reading. Happy birthday, happy solar return. Uh, it's a good time to make your wishes, of course, when that time happens. So, for your birthday month and for the ones that already had their birthday in the late September, I meditated on your energy and what Spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first, well, first of all, the first row, we have the Knight of Pentacle, the King of Pentacle, and the Nine of Pentacle. Very Pentacle, very much about, um, yes, your finances, of course, but it's all about the quality of life. Um, security, uh, seeing results out of your efforts, your engagement, and having something that comes back to you. Um, under our Knight of Pentacle, which is that continuity and so on, we have the world and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So many of you uh, probably made the big decisions or ended a period of your life when it came to the way maybe that you used to bring finances into your life. Uh, and when I say the way, it doesn't have to be like actually finishing a career and starting another one or a job or something like that. It can be just in the state, the dynamic we're in when we're doing it, okay? There's something you understood. For the will of fortune to be there, that means that there's something you understood that explained why things were a certain way. And with that understanding, what you're doing this month, you're finding a solution. King of Pentacle. Your mastering, your masculine side, is actually finding a solution, mastering this aspect. Uh, under him, we have Judgment and the Hermit. There are two Major Arcanas here. We have, like, until now, a lot of Major Arcanas here. Judgment, it's it's like, oh my God, I see myself going right there. I see it. All the parts of me that were in my subconscious, my unconscious, that were wounded. That's why we have here our Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine and Inner Child in coffins floating on water, if you look at this. And it is the trumpet of the angel that rolls those coffins from the bottom of the sea. So when we think of the, you know, the pair of young, that would be everything that is under the conscious. All of our subconscious things, wounds, um, beliefs that we bought, that happened, that are not constantly present in our mind, but that influence the way we think. With the hermit, this is like that beautiful sixth house um, or Virgo side of being able to implant in our daily life, in our ethics, in how we apply and continue and walk in this life with our wisdom, with our inner truth, with our connection with the divine. And under that, I have an ace of cup. It's like if that whole process is actually bringing you closer to your heart, closer to what you truly love, and like appreciating yourself in it. Because in the ace of cup, there has to be the same amount of self-love in order for us to feel it, it that capacity to receive uh, love, peace, inspiration, you know, the waters. So under our Eight of Pentacles, we are finally, here we are, completely focused, passionate, look at his red pants, passion, grounded passion, okay, uh, on what we are doing and seeing results. Eight of Pentacles. Under that, I have the Sun. Wow, solar plexus expansion. And then I have the Four of Cups. But because we have the Five of Cups here, 
that tells me that at this point we're finally seeing the cup that the universe was trying to give to us but we we couldn't see it before that means that whatever you're going to do at the end of the month is going to be a bit outside of the box uh, of what you used to conceive as possibilities for you to do or to enjoy or just like that life could be more than what you've expected been there done that that's the four of uh, cups and bottom of the deck I have the ace of wands so look at that new start it, it says it all of all of this is the process of accessing to that new beginning that new start so let's clarify that for you <coughs> my beautiful Libras I call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit help me clarify this reading for Libras for the month of October 2021 Libras October 3 of pentacle. We have the queen of pentacle. Well, we didn't have enough pentacles here. Okay. So, 5 of swords and 3 of wands were a bit on the side here. I'm going to put them back, but what that tells me is that there was this kind of you know when it came to how you saw your future or whatever, uh, it's almost like a sabotage of your beliefs robbing you of um, like you won't have to prove yourself right of anything um, this is like okay now I'm seeing what I want to build because uh, for sure there's a change in here and it, since we have the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is all about knowing our worth, knowing we're enough, knowing that inner knowing, not like, yes, I am enough, you know, but that inner knowing that I don't need anything else. I don't need to, um, I am not abandoned. I am not alone. I am supported by the universe, by the, my King of Pentacles. I'll find a solution. I have what it takes. That's her inner truth. Ruled by Venus, both of them. You know, self-love and capacity to generate abundance. Here, Tree of Pentacle, Queen of Pentacle. I think that the one thing you understood here is that maybe what you dreamed of uh, building in the future, of, of doing in the future, now there's that... There's no more that voice, and that's what is going to happen here. That used to tell you you don't have what it takes, or it's impossible because of X, Y, Z. Um, you're actually going to go for it. King of Pentacles. Like taking things into your hands and, you know, it, let's look at the king. Yeah. That's the star. And there is um, the two of pentacles. No more juggling in the sense of uh, this is where I'm aspired to do, aspired to go, you know. Aquarius, 11th house, our aspirations. Um, this is a card of fate. This is a card where at that point 
we're not letting anything outside of us, you know, uh, interfere with our aspiration. We have faith. It's not like we hope, but we have faith. And with the King of Pentacles, we find the solutions. So no more juggling of, I'm doing this, I'm smiling outside, but I'm feeling really, oh, this is not fitting with who I am, uh, and so on. I'm juggling here. Uh, a lot of you can be juggling also financially, okay? Because often when we are not aligned with our truth, um, allowing ourselves with our worth of, yes, I can receive we are restraining our capacity to receive and we end up having to juggle and survive, juggle and survive. Eight of Pentacles, there you find your direction and you're happily focusing and doing what you wanted to do. So they are repeating that Two of Pentacles with the King of uh, Wands. So part of you was juggling, it was with the guts of going for it. I want to, but I can't. My worth, I don't think I'm enough, but I can project and dream myself there at the same time. This is what I want to build, but, you know, and so we're juggling and our emotions are up and down. With the King of Wands, I say that because um, the King of Wands is our aim, our passion our guts to go and do something. This is what I want to create. If before you were juggling with the ideas of not knowing exactly where you stand, so for, so on one foot and the other, um, there you know exactly what you want, what you want to manifest, what you want to go for. Bang. Let's clarify the world. Because clearly with the world and the will of fortune, there's the end of a period for you well it's the end of a cycle anyway and your soul will return yes but more than that you finally took a decision you finally and being a Libra you're an air sign and so that could have been what uh, was holding you back before there's a question of beliefs of who you are, what is your truth, what do you truly want to manifest. These were the questions you had to answer within yourself. Two of, um, two of Swords. And also, here at, with the Two of Swords, I have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. See, we had the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Okay. I'm, do I have the power for it? Do I have what it takes and, uh, to, to have it easy, to, to be able to do what I feel inside is my truth? I say that because of the, the hermit here. Can I actually apply that into my life? With the Seven of Swords and Five of Swords, this is when we feel powerless. This and Eight of Swords, we have all the arguments against it. But there's something inside of us that's pushing us to do it. But we have so many uh, arguments against it. Uh, first of all, the Six of Pentacles, a hard time to receive. Because a, a, just a Six of Pentacles, you would have no problem receiving like a Queen of Pentacles. And a King of Pentacles. No problem having the finest things and enjoying this life with, you know, the fruits it has to offer. Seven of Swords, is, there are beliefs and probably, you know, hidden beliefs that were given to you unconsciously through your education, through past experiences and so on that you believed and that paralyzed you. And that's why with the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Sphinx that has a sword. The Wheel of Fortune only turns, not when we deserve it, but when we understand why things were this way. And so instead of repeating same story, different faces, we can actually rise above because we understood. 
So, all right, that's why that pentacle, ooh, ace of pentacle. And here with it, I have the temperance. And here is the will of fortune. So, it was a question of divine timing. That seed that you're going to be able to build, that you have the vision of. It's like having this idea, oh my God, this is it. Or finally having the guts to follow an idea that you've had, but you didn't think you, you had what it took to, uh, to take it. Sagittarius here. Uh, not Sagittarius, but uh, Temperance. Sagittarius. Uh, when you look at it, you see how it's brewing these two cups, one within the other. Okay? It is the cleaning, the purifying, the purging of our waters by doing this tempering, you know? Like when we temper metal to bring it into steel, we remove every impurity through fire, through hitting, through, you know, dipping in water and so on. <clears throat> Whatever the process of life you had to go through to mature your water, to purify your waters, your emotions, so that you can finally have here the sun. It has the sun symbol on its forehead. So imagine having the sun in your third eye to finally see the bigger picture. Oh, I see everything. I understand Will of Fortune. And I am taking that decision within myself. Because the third eye is connected to the sacral chakra. That's why it's intuition and vision. Okay? And so, and that's why it's cups and, and the third eye. Okay? So, it's not out of what you see and uh, it's more out of it feels my soul my whole body agrees with it okay and that's when you're going to make that decision and bypass or eliminate all of the self-sabotaging swords that you could have inside of you and outside of you because of course everything is a mirror so the arguments that people can give you are arguments that you actually believe inside of you. But there we go. Judgment. And I'm going to follow my path. Maybe you're going to be alone on that path. Hermit. But you're going to follow your path. And you're going to rise above your old stuff. Let's call it this way. Show me judgment and the hermit. Yes, out of jail, out of mental prison. Here is the Ace of Cup, Ace of Cup. It's almost like you, you wouldn't dare dreaming of better before, okay? Uh, Ten of Pentacle, this is like, well, it's many things, like every card. But in this uh, particular thing here, I think that because you have an ace of pentacle that appear here, this is the end of your cycle of pentacle. End of a structure that was the same for a long time that had reached its peak. And now it's time to create a new cycle of pentacle. But you were kind of in your mind about leaving that ten of pentacle. Because it was solid for a long time, even though you weren't really happy in it. You were like four of cups. And when you look at the face of that guy, I mean, he's not the happiest guy of the tarot. You know, emotionally, he's not really fulfilled. It's just more of the same. That's why that ace of cup, ace of cup. <gasps> it's a lot better. And of course, here we can be talking about any aspect of life. Okay, cups, of course, it can be love. For some of you, it's a decision about what you want to build romantically with, you know, this beautiful soul connection and whatnot. Others of you, it's all about your purpose, all about what you came here to invest yourself in and actually create. Okay? Show me the ace of cup. All right. Ah. 
flower and the moon. Well, this is really um, making that decision as a soul expansion. Okay, with the moon and the tower here, uh, there's something that's going to crumble because it's going to become so clear for you that there's no way you would have reached happiness inside of there and that your soul needed to expand. This is borderline having to make a drastic decision because if not, we're going into a burnout, we're going into a depression, we're, we're just going to suffocate, okay? And in that cup, because th these are three cards, we don't see them much because they're the golden, uh, you know, tarot here, but behind the moon, there's the sun and there's a shower of golden little nuggets coming down same with the tower and the only and these are two major arcanas and then you have the 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 ace of cup that has that same thing but with water and all of these are made in the letter yod in hebrew which means the finger of god imagine this is a huge download this is a huge Oh, I feel it with, there's like this surge of water. And finally, that truth is going to uh, fill my whole body. And I have no choice but to act upon it. Because it says yes, not just here, but here and here. And in my elbow, it says yes everywhere. Tower and the moon. And there we have you, Libra, and judgment again. Huge judgment call. It's your birthday, and it's going to be your birthday with a bang. <laughs> okay, look at the sun. And a total clarity here with the sun. We're happy. High Priestess. Six of Cups. Two of Cups. A lot of you are actually going to go, yes, in relationships. And that would be like a total soulmate relationship. Um, but this is a beautiful connection of the open heart, open heart chakra, liberation, alignment with your soul, whether it is in a romantic manner or just actually embodying your true self completely here. Having the understanding and the grasp of it. And it's going to take a lot of courage to do it. But I think the wake up will be so strong that you'll feel like you have no choice and all of that mental prison that you remained yourself where you were will not work anymore. Of course, this will not be for everybody because this is a huge, like a decision and bang, I'm going for this because it says yes all over the place. It's like a um, revelation, okay? Four of Cups. So it's like you're finishing a status quo, of course. Eight of Wands with that Ace of Wands there. Now, you know, things are going to roll. So we have the King of Cups. You're honoring how you're feeling. Three of Wands. Now it is open in front of you. Seven of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Uh, at the, this that seven of pentacles and four of cups okay this is probably the state that if you're not following this uh or it was that before because here we have the eight of pentacles it was like i'm working my energy is, is has been you know my willpower and my energy has transformed into a shovel here it's not passion it's not uh, engagement it's not you know king of wands no it's a shovel salt mine 
I'm doing the deeds. I'm not seeing any results. But here, queen, your queen of wands, love, attraction is right there now because you will know exactly the new direction. And right under, I have that king of wands again. Uh, no more sabotaging yourself from your path. And where you should be. And that you know inside that that's where you would expand, you would flourish. Just these three cards here. Happy birthday. This is beautiful. It's going to take guts. But it's realigning your fire. Here, I'm going to call this Big Bang. Uh, because it's going to make a Big Bang. <laughs> and create a whole different universe for you. So, my beautiful Libras. Uh, oh, yes. We're... Uh, in October so of course at the end of the month it's Halloween champagne um, uh, so to all of uh, my sisters and brothers out there that celebrate the cycles of life and the special you know energetic uh, times I'm wishing you mwah, a beautiful end of the month of October and on this, uh, all my love and light, thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Happy birthday again, my beautiful Libras. If you want a private reading, of course, the description is below. You write to me on the email that is written there. I'll write you back. Um, Thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. Of course, New Moon, I do a ceremony to ask and put the intentions in the moon to give you back to what you need as a thank you for your donations. So on this, on my love and light, and I'll see you next month.